What is a lumen? Nowadays, when you go and buy a light bulb, it's not as easy as just looking at the wattage to guess the brightness of a bulb. Instead, they use lumens. Well, the funny thing is that a lumen isn't exactly a measure of brightness, a measurement of light. It's really a way to describe the dispersion of light. So, the scientific definition of a lumen is the capability of producing one candela of light for every one steridian. What the heck's a steridian? Well, let me give you this little illustration here. Basically, what we have is a candle. And with this candle, it creates a sphere of light. And from the sphere, you can kind of draw an arc of light. All right, and now with this arc of light, you can cut out a little section, which would kind of be like a lens. And the interesting thing is this little area here is actually your steridian. And the cool thing is that if you were to draw, let's say, on this arc a radius, you know, back in you know high school drawing circles and things of that nature, okay, the, ra the ratio, the, the, the way to take this radius and figure out the area of your steridian is simple. Just take the radius and square it. So if this was one inch, this would be an inch squared. If this was one foot, this would be a foot squared. That's all you need to know for your steridian. Well, now you need to know what a candela is. What's a candela? Well, a candela can trace its origins, because it's the standard unit for measuring light, all the way down to what was known as a candle power. Back in the old days, they would take a whale oil candle, and it would weigh a sixth of a pound. Now, it would burn at a rate of 125 grains per hour, and thus it would produce one candela, or one candle power of light. So modern day definition of a candela is actually the capability of producing one 683rd watts of energy on the 555 nanometer range. All right, the 555 nanometer range is actually a wavelength of light attributed to green light, but you really don't see it because there's so many other wavelengths being produced like in a candle. But anyway, if you want a quick estimate, you could kind of assume that a candela is the same thing as a candle power. So when you go to a store and you see something like a 1000 lumen light bulb, what do you need to know? Well, in the United States, a lumen is basically a foot candle. One foot out, one square foot, that's a foot candle. Okay. So imagine that you have yourself a floor tile, because a floor tile is basically one square foot in area. Now you take that, and imagine one foot away you have 1,000 candles burning. The amount of light being produced by 1,000 candles will equal that 1,000 lumens. And that's really all you need to know. So now you know what a lumen is. Take care.